LQ takes fire safety very seriously. We have comprehensive fire safety controls in place and we review and test them regularly. We have fire risk assessments for all our blocks and our fire safety management arrangements are audited by the London Fire Brigade. This video tells you what to do if there is a fire in your building. It also tells you how you can help to prevent fires. If there is a fire inside your flat, our advice is to alert all the people and leave, closing your doors behind you. It's really important that you know what to do if there's a fire in your home or building. Make an escape plan and practice it regularly. If you live in a flat, your building will have a fire strategy. More information on creating an escape plan and other fire safety issues is available online from the London Fire Brigade. You should follow your escape plan and if there's lots of smoke, crawl along the floor where the air should be clearer. Always use the stairs rather than the lift and call 999 as soon as you're in a safe place. If you are not directly affected by the heat, flames or smoke from the fire, our Fire Action Notice will tell you what course of action to take. It will advise you whether to stay in your flat or leave as quickly as possible. If the advice is to stay put, you should remain in your flat with the doors and windows closed. If there is a fire elsewhere in the building, then the structure, walls, floors and doors are designed to give you a minimum of 30 to 60 minutes protection to enable you to remain in your flat whilst the fire is dealt with by the fire service. What you should do to protect yourself from a fire. The London Fire Brigade advises that people living in high-rise properties are no more at risk of a fire starting. Their advice to people living in flats is to have a working smoke alarm installed and tested regularly. Take fire safety precautions. Make sure you know the escape route and what to do if there is a fire. Most fires in the home start accidentally and the effects can be devastating. Some simple precautions can make you a lot safer. Take care while you're cooking, especially when using hot oil. Never leave children alone in the kitchen when the hob or oven is on. Don't leave a lit cigarette or pipe unattended and always use deep ashtrays so they can't roll out. Keep matches, lighters and candles away from children. Put candles in or on a safe holder and make sure that they can't fall over. Don't place lit candles near fabrics or paper, including curtains. And always make sure they're blown out properly before leaving the room. Keep your electrical appliances safe by following our simple rules. Make sure cables from electrical appliances, including extension cables, don't run underneath carpets or rugs. Don't overload your wall sockets. If you need to use an adapter, use a multi-socket extension lead. If you need to use an extension lead, keep it uncoiled to prevent it from overheating. Only use bulbs that have the recommended wattage for your light fittings. Keep mains powered appliances away from water and don't use them in bathrooms. Switch off your electrical appliances when you're not using them. Every one of our blocks of flats has a fire action notice. If your building has a communal area, a fire action notice will be clearly displayed and will tell you what to do if there's a fire. It will also usually be located on a wall near to each of the entrances. You should read the notice so that you know what to do if there is a fire. You can download the Fire Safety in the Home leaflet from the London Fire Brigade website. Communal areas in blocks of flats need to be clear of people's possessions. Not only can they add extra ignition to a fire, but they can trip people up when trying to escape. LNQ has a zero tolerance policy to items left in communal areas, walkways and alleyways. This includes bicycles and motorbikes. We hope you will understand our reasons for doing this.